Ooh, what's black here? Welcome to Noonday Prayers. So glad that you're here today. Uh, we'll be starting in about four minutes. Uh, if you like Noonday Prayers, like like it. And if uh, you have prayers that you'd like for us to pray uh, during the service, put it in the <coughs> comments. And we're just so glad you're here. Noonday Prayers are found on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. Welcome. Welcome, Brian. Glad you're here. We'll certainly pray for your job search, Brian. Welcome, Amanda. Oh, glad you like the hat. It's my summer hat. Welcome, Patricia. Welcome. Good morning. Welcome, Henry. Glad you're here. <laughs> Thank you. Your day prayers start on page 103, the Book of Common <clears throat> Prayer. O God, make speed to send us. <clears throat> o Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Psalm 119. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. 
The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name shall be great among the nations, and in every place incense shall be offered to my name, and a pure offering for my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Well, Again, thank you so much for, for being with us here today. Uh, the uh, person who's honored today is uh, John Muir, a naturalist and, and writer. Uh, we'll say the colic uh, for his day. <clears throat> Bless the creator of the earth and all that inhabits it. We thank you for your prophet, John Muir, who rejoiced in your beauty made known in the natural world and we pray that inspired by his love of your creation, we may be wise and faithful stewards of the world you have created. That generations to come may also lie down and rest among the pines and rise refreshed for their work. In the name of the one who through him you made all things make new, Jesus Christ our Savior, who with you in the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God, now and forever. So, Robert, you can tell us a little bit about John Muir. I'll read it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Born in Scotland in 1838, John Muir immigrated to the United States in 1849, settling in Wisconsin. Muir sought the spiritual freedom of the natural world. As a college student, Muir studied botany, what she later said, this fine lesson charmed me and sent me flying to the woods and meadows with wild enthusiasm. In 1868, Muir arrived in Yosemite Valley, California, which he called the grandest of all special temples of nature. During a hiking trip through the Sierras, Muir developed theories about the development and ecosystem of the areas. Some years later, Muir took up the cause of preservation, eventually co-founding the Sierra Club an association of environmental protection, preservationists. Muir, an ardent believer in the national parks as, quote, places of rest, inspiration, and prayers, adamantly opposed the free exploitation of natural resources for commercial use. This position put him at odds with conservationists who saw natural forests as sources of timber and who wanted to conserve them for that reason. Muir was influential in convincing President Theodore Roosevelt that federal management and control were necessary to ensure the preservation of the national forests. Today, he is revered as an inspiration for preservationists, and his life work stands as a powerful testament to the majesty and beauty of God's creation. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. So today, uh, read more or... Uh, give thanksgiving for uh, John Muir. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father, Father who art Lord in heaven, hallowed be, be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will. To comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us, fault, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We're looking for prayers uh, from uh, the, our group here. Amanda loves John Muir for that. Uh, Mark Davis is here and praying. Uh, Brian uh, asked.
asked for prayers for his uh, job search. Uh, Henry uh, likes my scar. <laughs> uh, Roby is saying good morning. Uh, Amanda likes the hat. <laughs> so uh, I think that's I think that's all we've got here. So uh, again, we'll look again at the end. Uh, for the Episcopal Church, we pray for Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Larry, our bishop, and our clergy, Danny, Michael, Patricia, Susan, Joanna, and Billy, and our staff and vestry. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Diocese of Kaabu in the province of South Sudan. In our diocese, we pray for St. Andrews, Mariana, and Christ Church, Mina. We pray for the Commission on Church Architecture and Allied Arts. We pray for peace and an end to racism, terrorism, oppression, poverty, pollution, and persecution. On our staff, we pray for Cedric Gaither, our sexton. For our parish ministries, we pray for the shrimp board. We pray for the safety of first responders, healthcare workers, and those in the military, especially Megan, Sam, Green, Marshall, and Garrett. We pray for families expecting children, Marley and Taylor, Kelsey and Noah, and the Herod family. We pray for those committed to our prayers, Cole Jeffries, Austin, Rachel, Betsy, Craig, Mary Sue, Suzanne, Paul, Kevin, Janet, Merle, Adam, Jan, Shelby, Margaret, Blake, Jim, Amanda, John, Christine, Bob, Monica, Robin, Wynn, Jerry, Jairus, Kim. We give thanks for those celebrating their birthdays this week and those celebrating their wedding anniversaries. And we pray for those who have died, particularly Paul Jimmy. Beth is here, and Beth asked for prayers for uh, Robert's family. So, thank you all so much uh, for, for being with us in the middle of the day and pausing to give thanks and say prayers. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thanks be to God for you. Bless you. May God bless you.